All right, barrel and blade fans, I'm back with another super unboxing. I've got both the level two package and the knife of the month package this month. So let's pop up the seal on these things and see what we got. What's up guys, Eric here with That Home in the Future and I'm back with another barrel and blade unboxing. A super unboxing this month, we're gonna do both the knife of the month and the level two box in the same video. Uh, let's start with level two here. If you're unfamiliar with uh, barrel and blades, kind of a regular subscription box every month, really cool tactical survival gear, prepping gear, cool stuff like that. Two different flavors, there's a level one box, it's around 50 bucks a month. Level two is around 100 bucks a month. Typically it just comes with a better gear or more gear. Uh, if you wanna get this one for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description. Now, I always say this is a barrel blade, but they just kind of don't do spoilers. It's always um, a grab bag. You don't know what's coming, which is kind of fun. Some of the other subscription boxes like to tease things out, but barrel and blade does not. I'm not sure why that is. But here we go. I think, let's see, what operation are we on now? Let's find the card here. Operation 77. No theme this month. Sometimes there's a theme. There is a sneak peek at the card there. You can see uh, the rundown level one stuff. Again, we're doing level two. So you know what? I'm going to pull this stuff out, and then we'll take a look through it. All right, so here we go. Mix of stuff here. Kind of curious about this because I'm just looking around. I think this is one of those shovels that has a bunch of different stuff in the handles. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think about those, but uh, let's kind of go down the list here. So straight off the top here, we have a Wooby, which is kind of an army or military legend, more or less. Um, kind of what I understand is like a mixture between a sleeping bag and a little bit of a liner. So we have that here. Uh, Wooby blanket, sleeping bags with poncho liner. So basically it's a really light sleeping bag. Um, but if you serve in the military, I know my military friends, um, they're all about these things, kind of a legendary piece of kit here. So it's pretty much what you'd expect. And I've seen typically more like camo versions of these. Uh, but basically this is just a really thin sleeping bag. You got zippers, you got snaps and everything. Um, I think you can flow your hands through it as well. I think the Wooby name is like a nickname where, um, these are so versatile out in the field and such a nice like comfort item. Just again, versatile, useful, um, and really, really nice. Hold your body heat in and everything. They're kind of an essential out there. But um, in my mind, this is kind of a thing that like, if you go camping at all or find yourself like stranded somewhere and need a way to keep warm, or even at like a ball game and need a way to cover up on some cold nights and stuff, these are great to have. I throw, I've got something very similar to this in the back of my truck, like behind a seat in case I ever need it. So. Um, cool. So that's from Five Star Survival. They say it's a $60 item there. That's cool to see. All right. So next up, let's take a look at this shovel. And just looking at the package here, I'm not sure about this thing. I'll just be honest. So it looks like we have an overview. Let's pull it out and then we'll reference that overview in the back um, to see what this thing has in it. So, oh, it's actually a Rothko item, which I don't think is branded at all on the bottom. Oh, there it is up there. So Rothko stuff, kind of hit or miss in my experience. This one, let's see. Okay, so we've got a little sheath here, kind of thin. It does have a little, I guess, point where you can mount it on stuff. And this is not probably a paracord, but it does have like a cord wrap around it. And a few different tools built into it. You got a hex wrench, which I can't, I don't know, can't really see ever <laughs> needing to use something like that. A serrated edge there if you need to saw through some stuff, a little ruler. Um, so this is more like a trowel in my mind. Let's see what the tools are here. Yeah, nail opener, bottle opener, nylon handle for safety rope. <laughs> this just says hole for stick and to be used as a spear. Um, I don't know. Now the good thing is they only rate this at $16. This is probably more like five or ten dollars in my mind. It's like a, a throw in for something. Feels a little cheap. Now if you're using this as like a trowel, you're going camping or backpacking and need to, you know, dig a hole to use a bathroom in, then maybe as far as like any sort of like hard use or extended use in this thing, this, this cord is just kind of moving around a little bit in the handle. Um, and all the little multi-use tools in this, probably because of the cheapness of the metal. I just can't see it standing up to much. Probably the paint will scratch off and may rust a little easy. Being a little hard in this one, because this is not, no, no, this is a little dinky, I feel like, for what Barrel and Blade would typically send out in a box like this. But there you go, from Rothko. It's a compact multi-tool shovel. Um, we'll just leave that sitting out there so we can look at that again later. Uh, next up, from Victorinox, which is fun to see, we have the Adventurer. Let's see, pop open the seal and look here. Victorinox stuff, I think Barrel and Blade may be the only subscription I can think of that actually has sent some Victorinox stuff, which is kind of surprising. All right, so here we go. Kind of a classic design here. We've got some sort of lock here. Okay, so we've got, there we go. We've got a nice, confident, had a really nice little click to it. 
A little Phillips head screwdriver in the back. Uh, got a little nail neck. I'm guessing this is a bottle opener maybe. Nope, a little awl there. And let's see up front. So we got a combination, looks like a can opener, maybe a bottle opener, little flathead screwdriver area there. Um, okay, now there's your bottle opener and a bigger flathead, a little wire stripper I'm guessing. And then we have, wow, fairly large knife blade. Okay, and I think it actually locks, which is unusual. Now, I feel like in uh, a lot of European countries, you can't have locking blades. Uh, we do have, let's see, we have a toothpick down here too. We got our nice toothpick, and I'm guessing some tweezers? Yeah, tweezers, all right. So cool. Kind of unusual to see a longer blade on a Victorinox, especially one that's locking. Interesting, I don't know what kind of lock mechanism you'd call that. Let's see, it, is, it doesn't have like an extra stop in it, so it is gonna close all the way. Hmm. Got a little bit of a choil there too for your finger to go in, which is nice and comfortable. All right, so if you're into the Victorinox or Swiss Army style blades there, that is interesting to get a locking blade in the mix. Let's see if the card says anything about it. Lightweight, strong, and has an excellent warranty. Um, they talk about like if you actually look at what people in the field typically carry with them, it's something more like a Victorinox and like a big chunky um, survival tool and everything. So I, I like that. This is a good one. Barrel blade, this is good. This is a redemption from uh, the little shovel thing there. So last up, this is on here, the Baron Sons Scepter. That is not, we got from Gatco. I don't know if that's, oh yeah, it's from Baron Sun, a division of Baron Sun. For a second there, I was like, okay, this isn't what I thought it was. So it looks like we have kind of like a combination sharpener tool here that also has like a ferro rod, lots of different stuff. I wonder if it all tamps down inside this one little tool thing. Let's kind of open this up and look. Okay, so I finally pried it out of the packaging here, but we have a little screw in piece, which I feel like, there we go. So that's for our ferro rod to kind of hold that in. I don't know, we have this extra piece over here for it says sharpening hooks and stuff like that. Okay, it looks like the threading may go here. So you have a smaller threading spot there for work on that. Okay, so look, you can thread all this together here if you want. We have just a simple drag over kind of, um, I guess, carbide spot there, which a lot of knife guys will hear very conflicting opinions of whether or not that's actually good to use on your blades and stuff. But let's see all the different ways here in the back. I kind of chopped up our packaging here. Yeah, so they're saying this is for serrations and everything else. They mentioned fish hooks and fishing knives and all sorts of stuff. So you just get a combination of a bunch of different things. A little carbide scraper, your serrated thing, which I don't really use all that much. I'm not a big fan of serrated blades, to be honest. But this is nice down here to be able to touch that up. The only thing is, I guess with your, I'll take this apart again. I guess with your little ferro rod thing down there, I don't think there's a striker built into this. I guess they're depending on your knife to strike it, but it's a nice little value add. Interesting design I hadn't seen. It does have an O-ring on it too. I guess that's to protect that. I don't know if you can actually stuff some tinder down in that or not, but okay, so there you go. So we've got this scepter sharpening tool. We've got this Victoria Knox, which is probably my favorite thing in here. We've got our little travel travel. And then we have uh, this kind of sleeping bag, whoopee, poncho liner, all sorts of different roles for this thing to play. So lots of goodies there for the main box. And if you want to get that main subscription for yourself, follow the link on the screen or down in the description. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, but let's move on to check out the knife of the month this month. So here we go. So this is the second barrel and blade subscription. They had that regular one we just checked out, but they also have a knife of the month club. Uh, this is really cool, about 100 bucks a month or so, but they always send a knife that's worth way more than that. It's been all sorts of different blades, big blades, small blades. I feel like we're on a run here of, I think maybe the last four or five months, it's been smaller blades, which I tend to like more, so that's pretty cool. That came in the small little envelope this month. If you wanna get this one for yourself, that same link on the screen and down in the description will take you there and save yourself a little bit of money. But uh, let's bust this one open and see what we got. Get my other blade here. Surprisingly thick <laughs> envelope. All right, something from James, man. It's not something we've seen at all. And actually, we don't feel like I've seen any James stuff here recently. Okay, so here we go. Again, it's a $100 month subscription. You have a $200 knife right here, the James brand Wayland. And I think that's actually not really an inflated price. These are fairly expensive. Um, I really dig James knives. Let's check these out. Really cool designs here. What we got here? We got like some felt. All right, so we got like a little carrying pocket too. That's cool. But look at this. This is like... By the way, nice wooden <laughs> over the top packaging. Uh, very, very cool. But this is a gentleman's blade, it looks like. I think I saw, 
a Warren clip down here. Let's take a look. We'll open it up. It's an interpretation of the Barlow design, which is the epitome of the American folding knife. This is a knife so useful that Presidents Washington and Lincoln never left home without them. Very, very cool. So S35VN, awesome. Phosphor bronze washers, three inch blade, 2.8 ounces. It does feel very light. And it's got a nice big lanyard hole in it. Let's see here. You can see the scales G10 maybe, or micarta, I didn't see. Unless I'm missing it, I don't think it says on there. Could be micarta. It's got a really interesting feel to it. Dig the branding on it. Uh, nice matte black finish. A little nail nick, dual sided nail nick, which is nice. Oh yeah. Look at that classy gentleman's design there. Um, very, very cool. Nice for office environments, or if you just like that classic feel. No jimping or anything. It'd be nice to have just a little bit of jimping on the back, but this is a very cool um, blade shape. Nice mirror finish on there. Um, let's see. Ooh, razor sharp out of the box too. Um, very cool. I like that it has the stop on it. Again, it's not a locking blade. It's a slip joint. Um, which makes it a lot more legal to carry and again some countries that aren't into that sort of thing um, But very classy James brand stuff is a step above whew, That'll take your finger off. <laughs> so be careful with that um, But love the fit and finish on this love the feel it felt very balanced and You know what I like too. I typically am not like we just looked at that Victorinox. I'm not typically a fan of nail neck style um, Knives a lot of times you have to get way down in there But these are really thick grooves and you can just grab that with your finger and pull it out um, this is something I feel like my grandfather would have used and like loved. This thing is very, very cool. All right, great value too. Again, $100 subscription, you got a $200 knife. Um, and I've seen these, if I recall, I feel like they actually do go for that right there. Nice thick lanyard hole too. I could see you putting a big strip of leather and a cool bead in that. Um, all right, really dig that one. So great job this month for the knife of the month. We got this cool felt sheath and everything too. Nice bright brand on there. Just a little way to keep it classed up, nice in your pocket. Maybe you'll be able to slip in some fifth pockets too, just depending on the depth of your pants. But all right, really cool knife there from the James brand. That is the Wayland. This is a modern interpretation of a classic Barlow pattern. Very cool. All right. So there you go. Again, if you want to get this up for yourself, follow the link on the screen or down in the description. But very cool knife of the month. And kind of an okay uh, regular box and barrel and blade this month. So, so that is it for this month's super unboxings. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. We'll see you next time.